March 1st. Three more countries reported their first cases. Armenia, Czech Republic, and Dominican Republic, and two islands, including St. Barthélemy and St. Martin. On the same day, three countries including Australia, San Marino and Thailand report their first death. March 2nd. The virus reaches nine more countries, Andorra, Indonesia, Jordan, Latvia, Morocco, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, Senegal and Tunisia. On the same day, Europe raises COVID-19 risk level too high as Italy death toll passes 50. March 3rd. The virus reaches four more countries, Argentina, Chile, Liechtenstein, Ukraine, and a British overseas territory Gibraltar. On the same day, WHO has stated that the mortality rate of COVID-19 stands at 3.4% globally, which is higher than the previous estimate of 2%. March 4th. The virus reaches three more countries. Hungary, Poland, Slovenia and Faroe Islands, a Denmark Autonomous Territory. March 5th. The virus reaches three more countries. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Palestine, South Africa, and Martinique Island, an overseas region of France. On the same day, the pit dog of a coronavirus infected patient in Hong Kong, was confirmed to be infected with COVID-19, making it a first possible case of human-to-animal transmission. March 6. Eight more countries reported their first cases. Bhutan, Cameroon, Colombia, Costa Rica, Peru, Serbia, Slovakia, Togo and Vatican City. At the end of the day, the globe cases reach 100,000 and more than 3,400 deaths. March 7. Four more countries reported their first cases. Maldives, Malta, Moldova, Paraguay, and French Guiana. March 8. The virus reaches three more countries. Albania, Bangladesh and Bulgaria. On the same day, Italy placed more than 16 million people under quarantine in Lombardy, and 14 other central and northern provinces. March 9. The virus reaches three more countries. Brunei, Cyprus and Panama. On the same day, in a conference, WHO director said, now that the virus has a foothold in so many countries, the threat of a pandemic has become very real. March 10. The virus reaches six more countries. Bolivia, Burkina Faso, Democratic Republic of Congo, Jamaica, Mongolia and Turkey. March 11. The virus reaches four more countries. Cuba, Guyana, Honduras, Ivory Coast, and two French overseas territories, including French Polynesia and Reunion. On the same day, WHO Director General, Dr. Tetris has declared the situation to be a pandemic. March 12th. Two more countries reported their first case. Trinidad and Tobago, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. March 13th. The virus reaches 16 more countries. Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, Curaçao, Ethiopia, Gabon, Ghana, Guatemala, Guinea, Kazakhstan, Kenya, Kosovo, St. Lucia, Sudan, Suriname, Uruguay, Venezuela, and three other area. Cayman Islands, Guadeloupe and Puerto Rico. On the same day, WHO Director General said in a conference, Europe has now become the epicenter of the pandemic. March 14. The virus reaches nine more countries. Central African Republic, Congo Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Eswatini, Mauritania, Mayotte, Namibia, Rwanda and Seychelles. On the same day, U.S. President declared a national emergency over the coronavirus spread, enabling $50 billion in federal aid. March 15. The virus reaches two more countries. Bahamas and Uzbekistan, and two other areas, Guam, Akrotiri and Kelia. 
On the same day, the European Commission implements restrictions on export of personal protective equipment supplies, such as masks, face shields, and protective garments outside the European Union. Any exports of this equipment require authorization by European member states. March 16. The virus reaches five more countries. Benin, Greenland, Liberia, Somalia, and Tanzania. On the same day, U.S. President Donald Trump refers to COVID-19 as the Chinese virus, drawing allegations of racism from Chinese and WHO officials. March 17. The virus reaches four more countries. Barbados, Gambia, Montenegro, and St. Martin. On the same day, European Union agreed to close Europe's borders for 30 days. The regions will, however, build fast track lanes to keep goods moving. March 18. The virus reaches six more countries. Djibouti, El Salvador, Kyrgyzstan, Mauritius, Nicaragua, and Zambia. And three other areas. Bermuda, Montserrat, and New Caledonia. On the same day, WHO launches a study to compare untested treatments of COVID-19. Countries currently included are Argentina, Bahrain, Canada, France, Iran, Norway, South Africa, Spain, Switzerland, and Thailand. March 19. The virus reaches five more countries. Angola, Chad, Fiji, Haiti, and Niger. Look back on the timeline, cases of COVID-19 took 67 days to reach the first 100,000 confirmed cases, and just 11 days to reach the next 100,000. March 20th. The virus reaches six more countries. Cape Verde, Timor Leste, Madagascar, Papua New Guinea, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. At the end of the day, no new cases in Wuhan for second day. March 21st. The virus reaches one more country. Eritrea. On the same day, global streaming services, Netflix and YouTube reduced their video quality in the European Union, to help prevent internet gridlock as tens of millions of Europeans work at home or self-isolate. And after one day, Facebook and Instagram also follow that path. March 22nd. The virus reaches four more countries. Dominica, Grenada, Mozambique, and Syria. Look back on the timeline, cases of COVID-19 took 67 days to reach the first 100,000, 11 days for the second 100,000, and just 4 days for the third 100,000. March 23rd. The virus reaches two more countries. Belize, and Myanmar, and one British overseas territory, Turks and Caicos Islands. March 24th. The virus reaches two more countries. Laos, and Libya, and a Chilean territory, Easter Island. On the same day, India's Prime Minister announces a lockdown of 21 days for the country's 1.3 billion residents. This is the largest lockdown announced since the beginning of the outbreak. March 25th. The virus reaches three more countries. Guinea-Bissau, Mali, and St. Kitts and Nevis. During a press conference, Tetris lists six steps countries should take as they are in lockdown mode. First, expand, train, and deploy healthcare workforce. Second, create systems to find all suspected case at community levels. Third, increase production and availability of testing. Fourth, Identify and equip facilities needed to treat and isolate patients. Fifth. Develop plans on how to quarantine contacts. Sixth. Focus the whole government on the suppression and control of the pandemic. March 26. One more country reported its first case. Angola. WHO Regional Director for Africa warns during a press conference, the African continent does not have the manufacturing capacity to produce health machines, such as ventilators and respirators, that the continent is dependent on Western countries and countries in Asia. March 27. UK Prime Minister, 
Boris Johnson tests positive for COVID-19. And at the end of the day, for the first time, the confirmed cases in the US and Italy passes China. March 28. Quarantine measures in the Chinese city Wuhan, where the outbreak began, begin to ease after more than two months of lockdown, including restarting rail service in and out of the city. On the same day, health officials in Illinois of the U.S. announced the death of a baby from COVID-19. This is the first death of an infant in the country. March 29. Over the past few weeks, as Chinese health officials reported new imported coronavirus cases almost every day, foreigners living in the country have noticed a change. They have been turned away from restaurants, shops, gyms and hotels, subjected to further screening, yelled at by locals and avoided in public spaces. March 30th. One more country reported its first case. Botswana. On the same day, the International Olympic Committee and the International Paralympic Committee announced the 2020 Summer Olympics and 2020 Summer Paralympics would be postponed to 2021. March 31st. The virus reaches two more countries, Burundi and Sierra Leone. On the same day, UNICEF tells The Telegraph it has halted routine and emergency vaccinations due to worries that these activities could further the spread of COVID-19, prompting concerns of a resurgence of diseases such as measles and polio.